we import TensorFlow as TF. Then we print the TensorFlow version that we are using. We are using TensorFlow 1.0.1. In this video, we're going to transfer a 1D tensor to a vector using the TensorFlow squeeze transformation to remove the dimension of size 1 from the shape of the tensor. Let's get started. In order to do that, let's start by defining a TensorFlow variable that will hold random numbers between 0 and 10 that are of the data type 32-bit signed integers and has a shape of 1 by 5. We create this tensor using the TensorFlow get variable operation and assign it to the Python variable random int var1x. Let's print our random int var1x Python variable to see what's in it. We see the name of the tensor, we see the shape, which is 1 by 5, and we see the data type is in 32. Now that we have created our TensorFlow variable, it's time to run the computational graph. We launch the graph in a session. Then we initialize all the global variables in the graph. In this case, just our random int var1x tensor. Let's print our random int var1 Python variable in a TensorFlow session to see the values. We see 53925, all right, which is between 0 and 10, which is what we expect. And the data type, it looks like they are integers. Let's calculate the rank of the tensor to see what we get. We use the tensorflow.rank operation, and we pass in our tensor. And we see that it is of rank 2, which means it is not a vector. To make it a vector with a rank of 1, We'll use the TensorFlow squeeze transformation to remove the dimension of size 1 from the shape of the tensor. Here you can see tensorflow.squeeze, and we pass in our tensor. Let's print the result. We can see visually that before we had two square brackets on each side, now we have one square bracket on each side. Let's check the shape of the tensor using the tensorflow.shape inside a TensorFlow session run, and we see that it is 5 whereas before we knew that the shape was 1 by 5, which we can see when we get the shape of the random in var1. So it went from shape 1 by 5 to 5. Lastly, let's check the rank of our squeeze tensor using the TensorFlow rank functionality, and we see that it is 1, so it is now indeed a vector. And finally, we close the TensorFlow session to release the TensorFlow resources we created within the session. And that is how you can transfer a 1D tensor to a vector using the TensorFlow squeeze transformation to remove the dimension of size 1 from the shape of the tensor.